Hi guys and welcome back again to my YouTube channel. For today's video, I'm gonna tell you the 10 reasons why you need to work at sea. Seafarers has a good wages. It offers a decent package right after you get out of college, which increases even further once you gain some experience and clear some competency exams. If you're doing good, if you study well, you can be an officer or engineer at the age of 25. Then you are way ahead in your earnings about 3 to 5 times or even more compared to the newly graduates or other professionals. Sometimes the salary depends on what type of ship, the company rate, the flag state, or the ship's nationality. But still, the salary still fit in the standard internationally. In the Philippines, we have 1,000 seafarers mining agency. We have a lot of options to choose. We just need to pass the exams and interviews of this mining. Once you step on the ship and get a license and become an engineer or officer, then it would be easy for you to find and choose a good company. Seafarers hold international recognized qualifications meeting standard. So most seafarers are qualified to work for thousands of shipping companies all around the world. From ups and downs of the economy of maritime industry, kahit may crisis like now we are in pandemic, Kailangan pa rin natin ng kapitan, kailangan pa natin ng ship's pilot to bring the ship to the shore. People need food, people need clothing, people need supply, people need LNG gas. 90% of trading in the world is because of shipping industry. The seafarers are the key workers. Dito papasok ang job security mo na pang matagalan, parang motorlight. Even if the company goes bankrupt, you have nothing to worry about because you can switch company easily. Just send your resume sa mga new platform ng mga mining agencies atin. Majority of the seafarers worldwide are tax-free. You can get your entire salary in your hands and you can plan your finances very well. Many sectors will assist the seafarers if he or she involved in any type of accident on board, he will be provided with the full support from ship owners and there are unions that gives advice and assistance for the seafarers. Not just that, there are some provisions also like medical benefits, retirement pension, insurance, house loan, or even financial assistance from the government. If ayaw mo nang sumakay international, you can still work domestic shipping but the salary is not that much. Other choices is you can be a ship pilot or you can be a maritime instructor sa training center or maritime college instructor. With a good compensation, engineer is always an engineer. As long as there is a machine, they can always figure out this thing kasi may mga background na sila sa engineering. Minimal choices, we can be a firefighter, a safety officer, or we can be part of the Philippine Coast Guard. So choose wisely if you decided to stop the seafaring life. Travel. Travel the world for free. This gives seafarers the chance to experience interesting and useful places rather than just typical business or holidays destinations visited by many people travel while getting paid right this is a good info for everyone like me my ship is a bulk carrier a bulk carrier and a tanker ship have a longer time in the sea but a longer stay in the port passenger have most touristy destination that's what the ship is paid for if i'm right for tourists right while the container visits a lot of port but, but a short period of time in the port. So ikaw bahala kung ano yung gusto mong barko. Usually sa Pilipinas kung ano yung first type of ship na sinakyan mo, yun na rin yung type of ship for the rest of your seafaring life. Sometimes it's hard to switch from one type to another type of ship kasi siguro dahil sa mga add-ons trainings at saka yung company the principal prefer that you have already an experience this type of ship.
nagiging busy lang naman sa barko tuwing nasa port kasi may mga port authorities, port formalities, loading and discharging operation, umating yung food provisions, supplies, and other spare parts, bla bla bla. Pero hindi lagi yon. Yung lifestyle mo ay nagbabase sa oras ng duty mo. For example, like me, tutulog ako ng umaga, gigising din ako ng umaga. So may time ba akong makapagbasa, makapag-aral, makapag-workout? Sa barko, free board and lodging. Wala kang iisipin monthly bills. At pag duty hours mo na, in less than 3 minutes na kapag bihis ka na, you are already in the work field. Ako, akit na ako agad sa taas. Kaya mas masarap yung buhay ko dito sa barko. Kesa sa lupa. Kaya siguro minsan masyado akong makurik-kurik sa mga tech na bagay dito. Tsaka dahil nga limited kami sa mga social platform, wala kaming internet dito, kaya iwas stress kami sa mga social economics and politics sa atin. Yung ibang singman naman dito na i-enhance nila yung skills na through carvings, through singing, video okay, paggawa ng duyan. If you are an officer, your duty is 4 hours, then 8 hours and off, then 4 hours of duty again. While the engineers start from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. round the clock for the entire contract. Not to mention, sometimes we do overtime for extra jobs and emergencies. If you save a lot of your earnings, you can spend 3 to 5 months of vacation. You can do whatever you like without the hassle. In most jobs, it is only possible to take a maximum of 2 or 3 weeks of holidays at one time. The seafarers commonly enjoy generous leaves or holiday periods. Sometimes maybe we are far away from home for extended periods. We can also enjoy the benefits when we come home. Like me, 3 months is enough for my vacations and relaxations at ready na ulit sumakay ng barko. Trabaho ni chipmate, hindi trabaho ni second mate. In every rank, we have job description. Like captain during ocean passage. He have this noon report from office, from charter, from other parties. Sometimes he only spend a couple of hours a bridge for the paperwork. Chipmate is in charge of deck maintenance, cargo and ship stability. Second mate is for the voyage planning. Third mate is in charge of maintenance of life-saving equipment and firefighting equipment. While the engineers are in charge of different sets of machinery. So the workload is lesser because it is quietly distributed as per safe money. Boson, as petty officer, he took a job order from Chipmate and he's in charge of the crew and assigned them to work in other area of the ship. Siyempre, the cook prepares the meal every day para busog lagi yung mga seafarers. Sa barko, as per company safety management, we have job description. We can easily define it kung ano yung trabaho namin mabilis lang wala nang pakemik kayo sa buhay. Yes, we are the prisoners of the sea, but I'm not talking about being lonely in the ocean bass. Ang sinasabi ko, nagbabago yung pananaw mo sa buhay. Like you're doing a plan once you retire from this profession, once your contract is end. Traveling the world, you will realize kung gaano kaliit yung mundo at gaano kaimportante yung oras at relasyon mo sa buhay. Before, my path is nowhere around, but now spending a quality good time with family and friends is a leap rather than partying with the strangers. You can make a difference by touching one's life through sharing knowledge and experience with your colleagues. Ika nga sa pagbabar ko, mabuti na yung pag-uusapan ka dahil sa mabuting ginawa mo kaysa, kaysa naging balasubas ka at sinusuka ka na ng mga kasama mo sa barko. Last and not the least, learn to. In the past few years, I learned to operate critical equipments. I learned to say very important words in professional life. Like, yes sir, okay sir, I do that sir. I learned to face working on holidays, face emergency when you're about to sleep. I learned that life is a continuous learning. And I learned that seafarers life and dreams can never be met because when they meet, both will lose their meaning. So that's all guys. I hope na bigyan ko kayo ng interest and motivation kung bakit maganda pumasok sa maritime industry. 
So please tag your friends or someone you know that are planning to join in the maritime arena. And don't forget to like, comment, and book subscribe. Maraming salamat.